Here we are, uh, once again, still in South Carolina, still speaking with Mary Muscatello. Um, and we ended on the note of laptops and technology, uh, and, and Mary hearkening back to the days when people lived in community and children were more involved in family. And so we're just going to expand on that point a bit. So Mary, you were saying um, you don't mind not knowing how to use technology. Do you feel in your, so in your 88 years, um, and you're cognizant, you know, say 75 years uh, of, you know, being an adult, like from 13 year, years old on, where you, part of life, what do you feel has been the biggest changes, both negative and positive, that technology, in, in many shades, you've seen much technology in your lifetime. And, Our, and tell I me. We have seen them in my lifetime more of the, the changes in this life than anyone else has seen. This is true. Uh, historically, historically we've, Oh, we've seen a, a lot of changes. Yes. No, I don't think anybody else is going to witness. No, uh, you're correct. I mean, in the last uh, 100 years, oh. okay, you're 88, but in the last 100 years, we have seen m much more tec oh. technology uh, advancement Definitely. than had happened to at least 400 years Definitely. previous. That's, this is true. Definitely. So, um, so, you know, from the convenience of washing machines, which is technology, telephones, technology, um, to the mobile phones and laptops and everything we have today, what... Go back to you know your first technological uh, advancement that you saw as a young as a young adult or, or maybe a teenager that you said wow wow what, this will change my life can you remember what that was that will change my life or just change the way you lived or viewed life what was the biggest development that was it radio was it television 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 was a big thing when it came and I think we were the last in our family to get a TV. My, my husband was not interested in any of these things. May I quickly ask, what year is that, if you remember? Oh, my son was born in 48, maybe 47, just, you know, just before TV, TV came, became really big. All right, so you had it in the 40s, you had a yeah, television. My aunt was the only one that had a TV, and we used to go to her house, and we watch every Tuesday the Milton Berle show. Okay, okay. And so that, at that time, that was technology. Oh. So what, just for an instance, if you can remember, what was your mother saying about television? Was she, was she re resonating with, the, with your feeling right now about laptops? What was her no. take on television growing up in the radio age as she I know. Did? She really didn't say anything, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. she, she just went along with the flow. She'd come with me because I'd be wheeling my son in his carriage and we'd go, go to her sister's house who had the TV and then we'd go there and watch our program and come home. after. Right. And my, well, meanwhile, my husband was down with his friends. He wasn't interested in TV. Okay, yes. And uh, interesting, did, um, did you feel that TV was as all-encompassing as today's technology. So to TV, you would go, so you actually turned that technology, it became a community thing. It became a visit to the family, yeah, and, okay. and everyone sat around and watched it together, right. and then after a half hour, an hour, it went off, or, or, or did it bring people into your own world? Did you feel it separated or brought together in retrospect? I don't know if it separated them, but I, don't, I really don't think... It made that big a deal in our in, in our lives. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Right. Okay. Uh, yes. Another interesting thought on on television, and we'll be back with part three of this interview in a minute. Thank you. Bye.